We're going to continue our review of sections one through three of Algebra One, Solving Systems of Equations. And in this second page, we're going to first look at substitution as using a method. Now, as we look at our first equation, we see y equals 2x minus 3. And I'm going to circle that y equals 2x minus 3. And I'm going to rewrite the second equation. And when I get to the value of y, I'm going to put a large parentheses and then set it equal to 16. And where that large parentheses was, in the place of that y, I'm going to stick the value 2x minus 3. Now we're going to have to think through and, and say, OK, how are we going to talk about solving this? And so if we're going to walk through this, Matthew, I need to distribute this. And so we're going to distribute. Now, distributing this, Ingrid, we have to really pay attention to the minus 2 in the front. So minus 2 times 2x is going to be minus 4x. And then going across, Jake, minus 2 times negative 3 is going to be a positive 6. And so that distributing is going to be important that you do that correctly and distribute that minus 2, not just a 2, to both of these problems. Now, Anderson, let's combine some like terms here on this next section. 6x minus 4x is 2x. And then we're still left with the plus 6 equals 16. Jury, I'm sure you could tell me what my next step would be. And that would be to get all the numbers on the same side of the equation. And so we're going to subtract 6 from both sides. And that's going to leave us with 2x equals 16 minus 6, which is 10. Lily, let's divide both sides by 2 and get x equals 5. We are now one third of the way through the problem. Now we go back to the original problem. I'm going to erase a little bit up here. I'm going to look at these two original problems called equation 1 and equation 2. I need to find the value of y. And so I'm going to use equation 1, y equals 2x minus 3. Now on y equals 2x minus 3, Aiden, we need to think, OK, what is the value of x? So let's plug in that value of x, Aiden, and that value is 5. Moving through here, Stephen, we've got to say, OK, y equals 2x minus 5. That's 2 times 5 is 10. And 10 minus 3 is 7. So now we have the second value of our problem, x equals 5 and y equals 7. But we've talked a lot in class about making sure we check it. So in this third column, let's check it. And if we're going to check this problem, we need to use the other equation to check it, which is 6x minus 2y equals 16. So let's plug our values in, James. 6 times 5, because that's the value of x. And Riley, y is 7, so 2 times 7 equals 16. Now. Amy, you know that 6 times 5 is 30, and you know that 2 times 7 is 14. The question is, does 30 minus 14 equal 16? Well, it does, so I'm going to put a check mark there. But I'm not done with the problem yet. To finish the problem, I need to write my solution, which is 5, 7. So that's my solution for the substitution problem. Let's continue using the same video to look at an elimination problem. This elimination problem we're going to work at down here, we need to look at in a vertical format. We need to look at these vertically and say, hey, does 3x plus 4x knock out the x's? Or does 8y and 2y knock out the y's? And neither of them do. So to attack this problem, we're going to need to multiply by what is called a scalar multiplier. In that scalar multiplier, man, we have two choices. We can either target getting 12x and negative 12x on this, first half by multiplying by negative 3 on the x and positive 4 on the y, and that would work. Or we can target getting negative 8y and positive 8y on the second column. If I was going to look at those two and kind of decide between the two, I would start to always do what was easier. And so Emily, what would you think we would have as a scalar on the y values to get the 2y to become an 8y and cancel out. And I hope you would say 4. So let's rewrite the first equation. 3x minus 8y equals negative 30. And Sophia, if you would please distribute the second equation for me. So 4 times 4 is 16x. 4 times 2 is 8y. And 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. All right. So let's add these up. Wilbur, 
3x plus 16x is 19x. Elijah, negative 8y and positive 8y drop out, which is the whole idea of eliminating one variable. And Sam, negative 30 plus negative 8 is negative 38. You may need your calculator at this point. If you do, great, get it out. But let's divide both sides by 19. Maybe, Henry, in your mind, you can do this in your head. What is 19 divided into negative 38? I'm hoping you're thinking negative 2. So that is the first half of the problem. Nevaeh, let's take that negative 2 and plug it into either equation 1 or equation 2 to solve. Which one, in your opinion, looks easier? I'm thinking equation 2, so that's where I'm going to go with this, because it has both positives on the right-hand side. So we're going to take that value of x, Christina, and we're going to plug it in for the x value up there and make that a negative 2. Let's solve this equation. Now, Stas, 4 times negative 2 is negative 8, plus 2y equals negative 2. James, what are we going to do to solve this problem? Hopefully you're saying, hey, let's add 8 to both sides. What's that going to give us? Well, Amelia, negative 2 plus 8, that's positive 6. And Hunter, obviously you're going to know at this point we're dividing both sides by 2, so y equals 3. Now, are we done? Logan, what do you think? Well, we've solved using equation 2, so we need to check it, Logan, with equation 1. I'm going to rewrite equation 1 up here. 3x minus 8y equals negative 30. When we plug that in to the problem, Zach, we've got to plug in the x value, which is negative 2, plug in the y value, which is 3, and hopefully this is going to equal negative 30. So 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Minus 24 is negative 30. Sure enough, those do work, and we check it off. But once again, we haven't finished the problem until we write our answer, which is negative 2 and 3. All right, so that concludes our review. We need to remember a couple things. You're going to work on this worksheet, and also you're going to review because we do have our quiz on Friday over sections 7.1 through 7.3.